The Case of Marion Cotton Marion Cotton was an English serial killer who was believed to have murdered up to 21 people, mostly her own family members, using arsenic poison. Born in 1832 in Durham, England, Cotton was one of nine children, and her childhood was marked by poverty and frequent moves. She began working as a nursemaid in her teens and later married a minor named William Mowbray, with whom she had several children. Mowbray died suddenly, leaving Cotton with several young children to support. Cotton soon remarried, and this pattern continued throughout her life, with several of her husbands and children dying under mysterious circumstances. She moved frequently, often leaving behind a trail of debt and death. In many cases, she would take out life insurance policies on her family members shortly before they died, collecting the payouts and using the money to pay off her debts. Despite the suspicious circumstances surrounding her family members' deaths, Cotton was able to avoid suspicion for many years, largely due to the lack of forensic knowledge at the time. However, her luck eventually ran out and she was arrested in 1872 for the murder of her stepson, Charles Edward Cotton. He had become ill shortly after she had taken out a life insurance policy on him and died a few days later. During the trial, it was revealed that Cotton had a history of taking out life insurance policies on family members shortly before they died. Several witnesses testified that they had seen Cotton purchasing arsenic, and the prosecution was able to produce a series of letters in which she had confessed to the murders. Cotton was found guilty and sentenced to death by hanging. Cotton's case was notable for several reasons. It was one of the first trials in which forensic evidence was used to prove a murder case. Cotton was also one of the first known female serial killers in England, and her case helped to fuel the Victorian public's fascination with crime and punishment. After her execution, Cotton's story continued to capture the public's imagination, inspiring numerous books, plays, and even a ballad. Some have even suggested that she may have been the inspiration for the famous nursery rhyme Sing a Song of Sixpence. Her case also had a lasting impact on the development of forensic science, helping to establish arsenic poisoning as a legitimate cause of death and leading to new methods for detecting the presence of the poison in the body. We hope you enjoyed this case overview, presented by Emmy Award-winning Crime Sonics. Be sure to give us a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more content just like this.